Hey guys, <laughs> it's Alyssa from AlyssaNalani.com. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this looks a little different today, a uh, couple reasons. One, the mount that I usually use to film uh, with my iPad, uh, it holds it up, um, is no longer performing as well as she used to. I believe it's time to retire her and replace her with a new one. So I am going to be filming with one hand today. Um, I'm gonna try not to make you guys seasick, but um, yeah, so there's that. And I'm also on my bed because, there you go, because I have just recently um, started moving furniture out of my office and rearranging some things between my office and my bedroom. And everything is in just complete disarray in the office. And I just figured I would stay in my bedroom where I had been filming and get this video done here. So that's what's going on. I'm going to try my best to get through this, you guys. Bear with me. Um, what I have here in front of me is not so much a planner as it is a notebook, but it does have planner elements in it. And I am going to be using this as my like personal development slash self-care slash projects uh, notebook or planner. And the reason why is because in the past, I have tried to kind of infuse or incorporate like um, personal development and self-care type things in my um, other planner setups. I even have like life goals and things like that in my personal rings, which is the video that I posted before this one. But I never really had a space to keep track of that or even work some of those items out on paper. It just never really fit into my planner setups. So I kind of let it go. I, you know, just didn't really think much about it. And then I saw a video by Tamara, the paper and pen girl, and she has this chunky mini planner that she's using for um, very similar purposes. And I thought, well, let me just give it a try. Um, I really like the mini happy planner size. It's compact. Um, you can do a lot with it, and so I figured I would try, you know, the mini happy planner route. And then I saw this cover <laughs> in the original happy planner size, and I could not resist. And you'll see why here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and open her up so you can see. I have made dividers, and then I do have an extension pack in the back that you will see here in just a second, okay? Um, I have dividers. I've got, um, there was something else I was going to say. Mm, yeah, totally left my mind. Anyway, let's just keep going. It'll come back to me. Um, this first divider, and this is just scrapbooking paper, um, back to back, you know, um, glued back to back and then cut and punched. And I just used old happy planner dividers that I have as the templates. Okay. Now this first section doesn't really have a name, but it's kind of like the front matter of the rest of the planner. Last year I wrote a blog post called the 20 characteristics of a classy lady. And I plan to kind of talk about this on the channel here in the future. Um, but basically it is a list of characteristics that I want to work on in my own life just to kind of develop some class and some refinement and some sophistication in my own life. And so this whole planner notebook system or setup or whatever I'm calling it is to work on this. So personal development planner, classy lady planner. I'm not even sure how I'm going to title this video, but this is what this is all about or everything else kind of stems from this. And again, I'm going to be doing a video on some of this stuff in the near future. So this is my list of characteristics. And then I have a list of five ways to be self-aware. I wrote a blog post about that. And then I've got some blank pages. This is just filler paper from the Happy Planner line that I put in here. It did not come with this particular um, notebook. And then I have pocket pages with some cards in there. I have this random one sticking out because I think I'm going to put it here in the front, I think. I just haven't decided and have not done so. So it's just hanging out here so it doesn't get lost or fall out. Um, this is the original paper that came in the notebook. Um, I believe they just call it sketch paper. 
and it does have a it has a little bit of a oh what do you call that of um it's not terribly smooth there's a term for that and i can't think of what it's called and then this is some more filler paper that i keep in here as well okay so this is that first section i plan to flesh this out just different classy lady things um are gonna go in here the second section is spiritual growth so oh man i have to find oh I'll, I'll show you here in a second so spiritual growth is going in here so i have a list of spiritual disciplines that i want to work on I just read some articles that I had found on Pinterest and put together my own list based on what I was reading. Um, spiritual growth reading list. It's just a um, dashboard that I got in a set. And I can keep all things spiritual growth. I might, I might, I haven't decided yet, keep my Club 119 stuff in this um, section for season two. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Club 119 is the scripture journaling and soon to be scripture journaling slash scripture study group that I started this past summer. Um, we're finishing up season one um, next week, actually, and we'll be starting season two at the end of September. If you want more information about that, you can go to the link down below and uh, you'll find the playlist for Club 119. And if it's something that you'd be interested in, we would love to have you join. So I might use this section, my spiritual growth section, for Club 119 stuff, but I haven't quite decided yet, so we'll see. This next section is for self-care. So I think that there are five areas of self-care that you need to focus on. Um, they are spiritual, physical, mental slash emotional, environmental, and social. And so this is the area of the notebook where I will be keeping track of self-care things, activities, projects, um, notes, lists, articles, you know, things that I want to keep track of. Um, so spiritual self-care, that's what the self, the spiritual section, spiritual growth section, that's what that kind of um, tackles. Okay. And this is just all like, um, I can't think of the line, but it's from Michael's, the stickers and the washi it's from Michael's. Just a list of self-care activities, evening and morning routine, um, like ideal evening and morning routine, a fall bucket list. Um, I'll have a blog post up about this next week. Um, a couple of recipes from my fall bucket list that I want to try out this year. Uh, again, I'll have um, that information in a blog post next week. And then just some more filler paper. The next section is for marriage. And there's not much in here. Oh, yeah. I have a pocket page in here. Next section is for marriage. I plan to keep like date information or date ideas. Um, our weekly spouse meeting notes are gonna go in here once I get them resized because um, it's in letter size. I just need to resize it for Happy Planner. Um, other, you know, conversations and plans and things that I get online um, that pertain to marriage are gonna go in here. This next section is for personal development. And this is just another dashboard. It comes in a set of three. I don't know if you can see that. So one, two, and then three. Um, this is a personal development to-do list that I wrote. Favorite podcast that I listen to for personal development. Books for personal development. Podcasts to check out for personal development. And so any projects and things that I'm working on in that area um, we'll go in there for personal development. This last section doesn't have a job yet. <laughs> um, I was thinking fun and recreation. I was thinking um, do, 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 do home stuff, like a home section. I'm not terribly sure yet, but I just have some paper in here to um, use when I figure out what I'm going to do with it. Um, and then I have a six-month extension pack. And this is where things are kind of worked out, okay? So here's September. I just got it set up. Um, this is blank, right? So this is what it looks like. This is the dashboard layout, I think is what it's called. Okay, and let me just show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like blank, okay? These are your pages. So originally you would have a place for your errands, a, um, a shopping list, bills for the week, and calls and email. 
things to focus on, and then you would write your daily tasks in your week on one page, okay? Well, the way I'm using it, here's how I have it set up. This is next week. I've already set myself up for next week. These are self-care things to get done each week. I have to write this stuff down because I either forget to do it or I don't take time to do it. But once I put it on paper, then it holds me a bit more accountable to actually get some of these things done, right? So if I can at least get a few of these things done off the list, and I'm talking weekly. I wanna mask my hair weekly. I wanna soak my feet at least a couple times a week. Um, I wanna make sure that my, my fingernails and my toenails are taken care of weekly, whether I paint them or not. I wanna do a face mask a couple of times a week. I want to, I'm really bad about, oof, Spilling my tea, you guys. I'm really bad about shaving. Um, even in the summer, I will just throw on a pair of jeans because I have a hard time with um, nicking myself and it's just a whole thing. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I want to be more regular about this. So I have to write this stuff down. I also want to keep track of what I'm listening to on a weekly basis. So I'm a huge podcast junkie, huge audiobook listener. Um, so I just want to keep a running list of what I'm listening to during the week. And then right now, I'm trying to work on uh, my morning routines and my evening routine. I feel like a broken record because I say this all the time, at least to myself. Um, this is what I'm working on. And then there's a section here to write what I'm focusing on. And then in the week on one page. Whoops, sorry, I think I touched something. Anyway, in the week on one page. I am literally writing the same thing down every day. So let's just zoom in here. What am I doing for my physical self-care, my spiritual self-care, my personal development, my marriage, and for my home? And it doesn't have to be anything big. Literally one week I just wrote down, I did the dishes. That was it. <laughs> or for marriage, we went on a date night, or we had a conversation, or we read something together. Personal development, I listened to a personal development podcast. Spiritual growth, I had my quiet time this morning. Physical um, self-care, that's I um, did a 30-minute workout or whatever it is. This is akin to habit tracking. And I've said in the past that I stink at habit tracking, but I need to stop stinking at habit tracking because then I'm never going to improve. And I am all about trying to do better this uh, these last four months of the year so that I can walk into 2020 with better habits and better routines so that I'm not constantly trying to, I kind of feel like a hamster on a wheel, right? I'm just constantly working on the same stuff over and over and over and over again and never improving. And this is my way of trying to tackle that and see if I can't just buckle down and be intentional about the things that I need to work on for myself, right? So this doesn't have anything to do with tasks that I have to do, you know, for work or, you know, stuff that I have to keep track of that have to do with other people, except for marriage. That's the only other thing. But this is like the stuff that's going to help me um, function better, be healthier, be more well-rounded, um, so on and so forth. So this is the attempt to do it. We'll see how it goes long-term. It's basically a bunch of paper with some dividers and a couple of calendars in the back. That's all this is. It just looks super fancy because Mambi is real good about making their stuff look real pretty. So that's what it is. It is really um, kind of focused around this concept of being a classy lady. And like I said, I will be talking about this um, some in the future. Um, you can read the original blog post. I'll have that linked. But this is like the goal. I want to be a bit more refined and sophisticated and put together <laughs> as an adult woman. And this is my attempt to tackle that. And so that's why, because of the whole classy lady thing, that's why I could not pass this cover up because it just looks perfect. And my hair often is up like that. <laughs> So anyway, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best about answering back. Uh, if you have any ideas, anything, whatever you want to say, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I will be following up on this and how it's going. And hopefully this will become a permanent fixture in my own personal development. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. I will talk to you later. 
hopefully I'll be able to film with both hands at the same time and get this um, iPad mount situation figured out. But anyway, hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.